So bakit ka nakamaong sa loob ng bahay? Hindi ko alam. But this is my life. And I'm not apologizing for it. Twinings! Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat, mga kaibigan, or gabi, kung gabi nyo ito pinapanood. It's your favorite emo soft boy with another vlog. And today, meron tayong bagong segment na gusto kong i-introduce at yun ay ang Tea Time with TJ. It's hot. Ano ang Tea Time with TJ? Well, basically, it's a segment in which I talk about stuff. So, pwede siyang philosophical stuff, pwede siyang non-philosophical stuff. <laughs> Disclaimer lang, as always, these are just my opinions and whatever I talk about here, usually mga ideas ko lang to, thoughts or feelings or based on my own experiences. Uh, I don't claim to have the absolute truth and so if you're listening to what I'm saying, please always take it with a grain of salt. With that out of the way, anong tea natin today? Ang tea natin today is worrying. For the most part, we can all relate to worrying, especially with what's happening in our country, with, what, with what's happening, yung virus outbreaks, the world, so on and so forth. And bakit ito yung naisip kong tea? Well, a few days ago, uh, habang nakahiga ako sa bed, alam niyo yung brief moments na yun before you're about to drift to sleep. Tapos, uh, nakatunganga lang kayo, nakatingin sa ceiling, tapos bila iniisip mo yung buhay mo. Well, that was what I was experiencing. And at that time, iniisip ko, shucks, how did I end up here? Alam mo yun, yung thinking about everything sa life ko now with the band, my career, my family, uh, with my dad gone, basically I have to uh, pay the bills, pay the mortgage, so on and so forth. Yun, that was what I was thinking about that night. And I was wondering, how did I end up here? A year or two before this point, I don't think I would be able to believe that this is my life right now. Why? Because um, in 2017, so yeah, like three years ago pala. Three years ago, I graduated from college. Um, and then after that, I was basically so afraid of what would happen next in my life. Kasi I didn't know what to do. I wasn't sure that this yung film degree kasi meron ako and I'm not sure if this is the kind of job that I want to pursue. I don't even know how to pursue a job in film. For a long time, like maybe like a year, I was unemployed and I didn't, I basically no idea kung anong mangyayari next sa life ko. And of course, that comes with some sort of privilege because my parents were supportive and uh, they were helping me find my way in life. But also, they, they wanted me to start, really start looking for a job, but my problem was I was too afraid and I didn't want to work a regular job. Thankfully, after that, uh, my nagkaroon ng traction yung band ko and then we started doing this band full time. And that basically kind of saved me in a way. Because uh, if it hadn't been for the band, wala akong work now. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. And now I'm here. And then that night, na iniisip ko my life and how I ended up here, I couldn't believe it. But then, there were negative thoughts. Na, what about right now? What's next for me right now? Especially since it's so bleak, my outlook in the future. Like, I don't know how, when this lockdown will end. I don't know when we will return to playing gigs. And that's a scary thought because my career is taking a big hit from this outbreak, and not just my career, but a lot of people there, even sa ibat ibang industry, uh, mga businesses, everyone's taking a hit from this outbreak, and lots of people are worrying. Ano bang mangyayari next? Rarely things are in our control, but what is our comfort in that? Na knowing things are out of control. 
Gusto ko lang i-share yung quote na to from uh, Marcus Aurelius. Yes, yun tayo. Mga matalino sta. Be like the cliff against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. From Tito Marcus. Gusto ko sa quote na yun is it paints a picture of someone who is steadfast. When you say steadfast, that's someone who is strong even in the midst of trials. You know, na hindi siya nagwaver sa faith niya and hindi siya alam niyo hindi nasa dinadala kung saan saan. I think becoming steadfast requires finding strength. The strength to hold on and strength to to hope and to continue to believe that things will pass. And since I'm a person who believes in God. Uh, I find that strength in God. Meron pa isang quote na gusto ko i-share. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Ano yung sabihin nun? Yung sabihin nun na meron ka ng trials ngayong araw na to, today. And if you worry about tomorrow, what's the point in that? Hindi mo naman dadagdagan ng araw yung buhay mo by worrying about what's coming tomorrow. And I like this quotation because in the story before this, it was actually Jesus talking, and he was saying that if you ma ibon nga na nakita mo jan sa kung saan sa ay sobrang astig tingnan, kahit na hindi naman sila binibihisan, di ba? Or hindi naman sila nagubury about clothes kanyan, or inakain yung mga animals kahit na hindi naman sila nagtatrabaho kanyan. How much more tayo who are more valuable than these? And that's where I find my strength. I find my strength in knowing that I am not the script writer of my life. In fact, hindi nga yata ako yung bida. I don't know what else is coming. And it's okay because someone else is in control. I'm sure this is actually harder to do. In saying this, I'm not belittling other people's problems or belittling my own problems. Kanyan. Of course, lahat ng na-experience na, na, na natin day-to-day -day are valid. Lahat ng problems natin. I valid, and I might not be able to understand your situation right now. But I just want to share na, and to comfort you in the fact that things aren't as hopeless as they seem to be. And just remembering that someone else is in control is something that can help you in your life. And being aware that you're not a scriptwriter is also something that could bring you comfort. Anyway, that's the tea for today. Be like the cliff, guys. How about you? What are you worrying about? What are you going through? Um, if you're comfortable sharing, you can comment it down below. And I'm sure people can talk about their feelings in the comment section. Natin. Let's make our comment section a safe space for people to share their feelings and their thoughts. Um, only if you're comfortable. Ha? Walang, walang pressure to do anything like that. I mean, sometimes when we share our problems to other people, uh, mas gumagaan yung load, ganyan. Mas gumagaan yung feeling mo na burden ka by the whole world. And thank you so much for watching this short tea time video. And... DZUP. Wala lang. Love you.